There were rumors of a sex... <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. Well, today's video is going to be the long-term review, one year to be exact, and one year later are the Google Pixel Buds still worth the price tag of about 150 bucks. Now, I've made no qualms about the fact that I love my Google Pixel Buds. I've even made a video about the Pixel Earbuds or Google Earbuds that came with a Pixel 3 or a Pixel 3 XL, but these are kind of the old standby. These are ones that I have used for more than a year, but a year later, are they still worth it? Probably what some will argue were, were they ever worth it? but I will get more into that. So in my original review, I kind of talked about five different things where I said Bluetooth and sound quality and fit and comfort and style and yada, yada, yada. Rather than go all through that again, let me just tell you some of the things that have remained constant and then get into the new stuff about the one year later. So the Bluetooth still has remained pretty much exquisite when it comes to the distance I can walk away from a phone and also just kind of just latency issues at all. I haven't really experienced the latency. Some have reported it, some have not reported it. But yeah, I've never had any experience or problems with the Bluetooth, so that one aside. Now the price, the price has remained aside. Price aside. Okay, what about the quality of the sound? I've made no qualms about this. I think they sound better than the Apple AirPods. I think the AirPods are great, but the Pixel Buds are just that a little bit better. I definitely, in comparison to the Google Earbuds and the Pixel Buds, the Pixel Buds just have a bigger, fuller, richer sound. The bass doesn't muddy out the mids. The highs are not very tingy. The mids come through nice and smooth. So I really like the sound profile that I get out of the Google Pixel Buds. So we also know that these are not truly wireless. After have using these for a whole year, I've come to find out that I prefer not having fully wireless earbuds because I tend to drop them or lose them. Got back into the gym. I wear the Pixel Buds with me when I go to the gym. I was wearing the Apple AirPods with me to go to the gym. And anytime I would squat or kind of do one thing and the AirPods would shift a little bit, they would fall out of my ear. But that could just be because I was exerting a whole lot because I lift big weight, me strong man. <laughs> so yeah, I prefer the wired that goes over around my neck. I said it in my first video. I still prefer the longer cord. I wish it was just a little bit longer. I know why it's not, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a little bit, but I would prefer a little bit longer of a cord because still to this day, when I would move my head around, it does kind of pull or get stuck. One of those nuancy things, I've started to wear it down in front of my beard now to where it doesn't pull. It looks really, really weird. Like I have a really big, long smile, but that doesn't pull on anything, and it just kind of works when I'm sitting at my desk. So again, yeah, Bluetooth I like, cost I like, sound I like, comfort that I like. What about the things that I don't like? Definitely don't like the case. From basically day one, I've kind of had somewhat of an issue with the case. The longer that I have used this case, the longer I just do not like it. As a matter of fact, one of the biggest problems that I have with this case is I will go and put the Pixel Buds in and start to wrap things around and close it and walk away from it and realize that I didn't have the Pixel Buds seated in the right way so I was still getting Bluetooth through the Pixel Buds that my phone was saying, but I didn't have them in my ear, and they were all the way around tight, or at least I thought they were. Long story short, the case is still not great. That is definitely the biggest frustration point that I have with the Google Pixel Buds, is the single biggest point of failure is definitely the case. Uh, the case itself is nice in fabric, but I would like to have a little bit smaller of a case because it's still, as you can kind of see in my hand, it's not necessarily the smallest thing. It's not something that I feel comfortable with wearing in my pocket like I do with the AirPods. Even those are just kind of pushing it a little bit for me when I wear my pants. No, I don't have skinny jeans. I'm not that small of a person to wear skinny jeans, but I just don't like things like dangling around in my pockets. Definitely the case is probably my least favorite thing when it comes to the Pixel Buds. If you can get past the fact that it case is just kind of mm, not very good, they are still really, really good Bluetooth 
headphones and I use them all the time. I have noticed a little bit of regression when it comes to the battery. These are a year old. I use them every single day. So my guess is I'm still gonna get in and around four hours of usage when I use them completely consistency. What? When I use them completely consistently. Uh, however, I have noticed that anytime I take a conference call when I am on the phone, that will just zap the battery more than anything. Over this year, Google has made updates to the app itself to where I can choose to get notifications through the Pixel Buds or I can do a double or triple tap and start to go forward or backwards in songs. Now, I personally still prefer the notifications in here, which means I have to press and hold the right button and tell the assistant to skip or go back a song. I just like that because I get a lot of notifications. I did use the double and triple tap for a little while and it's just, it's okay, it works flawlessly. It's just really something special about getting those notifications in ear that I don't have to interact with my phone when it's in my pocket. So again, you still get all the same benefits that you did in the original video that talked about the Google Assistant. And that means with every single Google Assistant update, the Pixel Buds get a little bit better and a little bit better from an artificial intelligence perspective. The more that the Google Assistant can do, the more that the Pixel Buds theoretically will be able to do because it uses the Google Assistant. Now, one thing with that said, while the advancements in the Google Assistant have happened, and that means the Pixel Buds get a little bit better, Google has also started to allow the Assistant to get into other headphones. There's a ton of other headphones that have the Google Assistant built into it. Bose comes to mind. So if you're really looking to spend that kind of cash, you get all of the benefits like the Pixel Buds do, but you get the benefits of having really nice Bose headphones. Bose is just one of the examples that I have, but you could easily start to see that having the Google Assistant in more headphones makes the value of the Pixel Buds go down a little bit. So are the Pixel Buds still worth it? Well, for me, they are still worth it because it completely keeps me inside the Google ecosystem. Part of the reason is I don't have to have an additional app to do things. So Bose, I might need an additional app or Sony, I might need an additional companion app to do things or tell certain buttons on the headphones that I wanna use the Google Assistant rather than what comes in out of the box. That's just me. I prefer not to have a companion app to do things and would rather stay in an ecosystem like Google that ha I already have those apps on my phone just to use. So for me, the simplicity of having just the Google apps itself, plus the Pixel Buds, plus the fact that I already own them and I don't have to buy other headphones, makes the value for me just that much better. So that's it, that's kind of my refresh and review one year later, a little bit of rambling about what you should and shouldn't do when it comes to the Pixel Buds. We have a live show every Thursday, Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Let's try that again. We have a live show every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Time. Come join us. I will continuously berate Greg until he puts out content. It's just so much fun. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time.